Hello, welcome back. This is Karen and my SureShot account. So this is part two of saving all my favorites so that uh, I can, yeah, clean up my phone um, and make room for more. So this is playing some friendlies with my buddy Alan. Yeah, it's funny, I couldn't do that too often um, <laughs> when it came to tournament time, got close, but in practice, of course, when the pressure's off. Yeah, isn't that the way? This is such a head game. Um, we get all nervous. I mean, I could even do it a few times, it appears. But when it comes to tournament time, I did it once out of, what, five, t five, or, yeah, five tries. So that was kind of silly. And then I started playing with my Nirvana. It upgraded enough that I could start playing with it and uh, really like the Nirvana. This is the first time that I, I really experienced it and actually fell in love with it. Yeah, Nirvana is awesome, awesome. I think it's, you know, next to the Sniper, it's probably one of my favorites because I do get myself into uh, predicaments. Yes, it seems I, yeah. And then I was experimenting on dunking because I'm still not all that proficient at it. And it helps to hit perfect. Great I didn't shot. there, but I got lucky. And uh, was able to dunk that one with my buddy Alan. And what's well, this one? Yeah, going through these. And uh, I do like the razor, the rapier. Um, a lot of people I know because it's got such a huge ball, uh, uh, top spin that it can kind of get out of control, but, um, yeah, I like the rape here, too. I'm, uh, getting better at using it. So that was two, and here's number 39 on T Tour 7. And I used Jesse's adjustments on this and uh, lining up the blue ring just at the bunker there. And then two back spin, two side spin, and uh, it works. I managed to start getting more um, hole-in-ones on that particular hole. And this is always a twi tricky one. Um, it's 20% downhill. Great shot. And it worked. Yay. And that was the first time I'd ever uh, dropped that particular hole. So I was very happy about that one. So that was 39. And here's number 40. Oh. Great shot. Well, this looks like the identical shot. Hilarious. Oh. Slow drop. <laughs> yeah, that almost didn't go in. <laughs> oh, and then, then I was really getting, I think, quite courageous on this one because I had not ever tried it from a distance like this. 
So this is my longest dunk, my farthest dunk that I had ever attempted. Perfect shot. And I got it. Yay. So that was <laughs> a shocked face. <laughs> uh, and I had to laugh about this one because I got a... Oh, here's a rapier. My rapier again. And this guy's reaction. I wasn't quite sure about this. Whether that was a positive or a negative when you get... I mean, it was just a birdie, but you're good. I wasn't sure whether he was being f facetious or not, but I thought I was pretty good. And uh, and then this was my a max putt. Yeah, like really max. And it went in. I was happy about that one. And oh, and then here here I go again with my loving my Malibu. So Malibu love. And I'd watch Zachary's um, about adjusting uphill because when you're in a bunker, you're downhill. And so if you have, you know, like some major wins or when you're doing your adjustments, you have to account for having to chip uphill. And uh, so that was very interesting. And it seems to have really helped um, my bunkers, uh, my bunker saves, you know, um, and then this is the vintage tournament. Oh. This is the one time that I managed to get it. Perfect shot. It's always exciting when you can make it in a tournament. I mean, it's fun when you're doing it. Albi, albatross, yay. When you can do it in tour play, but when it comes to, you know, really counting in tournament, I mean, there's just, there is really quite a high about it all. And this was a, a shootout in the Vintage Open. Of course, it's a shootout. It doesn't quite mean the same. And the great, and I thought it was a whoops, but it was a whoops that was perfect because I didn't adjust properly, so I laughed. <laughs> uh, yeah, and then this is number 43. Yeah, I've kept track of all my holes in one. Oh, yeah. This is the first time I successfully did this. And my friend Terry, he uh, he had just get shown me, I think it was two days before, his hole-in-one on this. And I believed it could be done. He told me some of the adjustments. And yay! So that was the first time I find, successfully managed to drop that. And it's such a challenging... Um, Challenging hole on Tour 7. And it's a 10% downhill. And then this is another really challenging hole. I I had hated, uh, yeah, this and an 8.8 .8 wind. Perfect shot. Yeah, you see the little slopey there on the green. No wonder it's such a challenge to drop that one. 
But I was really happy with that one, too. That was number 44. Oh, and then I do have to show this. This is playing friendlies with my buddy Terry. And, uh, yeah. He's, uh, he likes dunking. Or at least trying it. And this was the Perfect golden shot. shot. And he gets it. <laughs> so that was... <laughs> we had fun. <laughs> so that was his first shot. And uh, then then he goes and does this. <laughs> it's like, yeah, I'm going, right. Like, you're going to dunk this? And I'm thinking, that's impossible. It's it's impossible. I mean, I'm even doubting whether uh, the rough bump works, you know. But what does he do? <laughs> he does it. <laughs> oh, that was so fun. <laughs> and then this is the third one. I mean, we I don't know. It's uh, when you see shots like this. Yeah, like, I'm like, oh, uh, yeah, right. You're going to do that? You're going to dunk this hole? Uh, yeah. Shot. Not possible. And what does he do? <laughs> he dunks it absolutely perfect. I was like, oh, my God. Yeah, wow. Yeah, it's so it is possible, I, I guess, if you're willing to try. And that's the thing is Terry's willing to try those shots. And uh, it's a really good example that it can be done. Um, it's just 99% of us, I don't think I even consider trying it. And so this is the South Coast Tournament. This is one of our last ones. And, uh, or this is the one we're on right now, the most challenging tournament. And uh, this is one of my faves. Perfect shot! But... It's probably the closest I got so far. I still got my weekend rounds to do. Um, but that, I thought, was a nice shot. I like that rough bump. I just need to dial it in. And that's the thing. It's dialing it in. So, here's another one. Oh, yes, some more Rape Your Love. I had to do quite a few of these, it seems. Um, a lot of chips in this tournament. Birdie. So, just a birdie, but an important birdie. Because every birdie counts in this tournament. And then there's this one. Another, that was so, so close. Um, like half an inch from the rough. Yeah, I hit it great. But, oh, I love watching the pin go bing. Yeah, so I hit that one pretty good. And so save that one. And then this was... In the tourney as well. I believe this was the qualifier. Perfect shot. No, the opening round. Albatross. Yeah. So to get an albatross in this course is, uh, there's not many. The last couple of times I've tried, uh, I didn't fare so well. And then, yeah, I did another oops on this one. This this hole, it's like so tough. And I ended up in the bunker. And it's a par 3, and it's 30% down. And, uh, you know, I'm not sure that putting it right on the lip there of the edge is such a good idea when I'm adjusting but 
I will try and be mindful of that because it's not such a great idea. But that awesome, awesome Malibu. Malibu is just such a... The Malibu is, is such a good one. And then, um, yeah, I guess we'll go through the rest of these. This was, I believe, hole five with the big dog. So got my eagle there, and that was really awesome. And then there's this one. So these are from the tournament and the opening round. It was hitting perfect. So another eagle. It's a pretty course. I actually quite like this course. It's just very, you have to, oh, and then this is, uh, now I'm just doing some grinding. Or oh, this is Friendlies with Gerald, Gerald tonight. A fellow Canadian. This was a lot of fun. So friendlies first, just to warm up. That was very hard. Little, little hot. And then... Yeah, we might as well. Just watch the rest of them. And then I can just get rid of them. Oh, yes, another bunker. Yes, another bunker. Here we go again. Perfect shot. Birdie. Yes, I love my bunker saves. And that was against Brian. So this one's against Mark. So now I'm into T7. So that was good. And then I finished up with number nine. So min distance, my sniper. Perfect shot. Beauty albatross. I love albatrosses. I haven't had many. I actually have, I think, just as many on my baby account. <laughs> so that's it. Those are my um, favorites. So now I can get rid of these. And uh, thank you very much. And hope you're having success in all your tournament rounds and, um, and your games. And enjoying this because this is really... It is, it is really um, probably the most fun game I've ever played and the one that challenges my mind the most. And then this is my card as it sits at the moment. And my best placing so far is seventh. So I'm still hoping for a banner in this account and it's sure taken a long time. And I still haven't done anything in T8, but I'll get there. Yeah, I'll get there eventually. So, yeah, I've played a few tournaments. I'm going to go back to pro, I think. Well, I'd like to get at least one top three banner before I go to pro. Yeah, I've only made 
weekends two out of five tries in pro so that's not it's not very good for clan points so yeah um hope you have an awesome um spring and we'll see you again